Hey, and Spencer, we got a great guest in studio. Of course, Fridays at this time, Dr. Alex Apostle from the Shelton School District. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Jeff. Thank you. And Spencer, good morning. Hey, good morning. It's been uh, great to be here. I think, uh, reflect a little bit on this uh, great last couple of weeks here from the Choice High School graduation to Shelton High School graduation on Monday. And, yeah, it, uh, it's been wonderful. It really has been. I'm, I'm really proud of our high schools. They both did a tremendous job uh, in terms of the graduation uh, program. It's both a celebration and a ceremony, and our principals, you know, Stacy Anderson and Jennifer Diet, uh, they they orchestrated it with their teams. Uh, it it was excellent. Both of them were, and I've been to over 150 graduations in my career, and I the, both of these were second to none. In fact, they've all been great uh, that I've been associated with here since I started in 2015, and just very proud of both schools and the kids and everything else um of course we had our moving on mm -hmm, program mm -hmm. i was at evergreen elementary uh to wish the fourth and fifth graders uh good luck as they enter the middle school uh, we had a great celebration uh, retirement uh, years of service barbecue this week, which was extremely well attended, and it was a neat event. So just uh, a lot of positive things going on towards the end of the school year. And I should mention that I met uh, with the architects this week and uh, asked them how things were going. And I kind of knew how they were going, but I wanted to verify it, that we're still on schedule and within budget. Uh, and we're moving right along in terms of the bond. So a lot of good news, a lot of uh, happy moments this past uh, week. And of course, we had the car show too. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. That was a great time. We had and beautiful cars and uh, good people and a lot of fun. It's a great way to be a part of Forest Festival weekend. We had um, the Queen of the Forest, Jillian Abbey, and Paul Bunyan on as well. And he, uh, we talked a little bit about the careers and uh, and what he was looking forward to moving on. Very specific goals where he wants to go into kind of the automotive trade. And he mentioned Mr. Buyer uh, at oh, the high yes, school. Yes. And he says he was he's instrumental yeah, oh, yeah. in and a, one of the best teachers he's ever had. I see yeah. that uh, awarded a $500 grant from Peninsula Credit Union to uh, continue on and get some more great e-learning programs for that uh, program. But to have teachers like like that in the he district. is a That's wonderful awesome. teacher. He has great relationships with his students, and his students have really bought into his philosophy and his program. And I'm I'm thrilled to have him on staff. No no doubt about That's it. And our, our students are going to continue to benefit from that program. Pretty special, as well as others. So. Uh, additionally, and we'll talk about this again next week, but there is a uh, powerful program coming up on June 19th at 6. Kevin Hines will be in to talk wellness and suicide prevention with a presentation. He is a gentleman who um, at one point in his life decided to take his life by uh, jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge. He survived right. that right. and now uh, goes around the country and yeah. speaks about wellness and suicide prevention through this presentation. It's uh, open to the public. Open to the public and uh, it's sponsored by our ESD 113 and we w had the opportunity and we jumped on it. Mm -hmm. uh, Pam Farr and I uh, decided that this would be a, a good thing for our community and for our, our school district. So we're, we're kind of looking forward to that. Yeah, I think it's going to be very good. Yeah, I believe I, he's one of the folks that you see uh, on the interwebs around where he says the moment he took that step off the bridge, yeah, his, like, his, his says this was a poor decision. Yeah. And uh, apparently a seal uh, or something helped him kind of float around in the water before someone came to get him. So uh, we're again going to talk about this. Yeah. We'll talk about this sure. next week too. And after your interview next Friday, we're going to talk with Kevin. He's going to call in oh, and we're going to have an interview with wonderful. him here to continue to remind folks about that. So uh, more going on and through uh, the summer, you'll see more construction work being done uh, on pace and on budget. So uh, things look ready to go for the start of the school year. I don't even want to say that, you know, I got to have a little bit of a time off, I suppose, but well, September will much. be here before you know it. <laughs> not much time, but uh, it's very, it's so exciting that, uh, 
I'm really not interested in that much of a vacation. I just, I'm excited to see all this come to fruition in terms of the bond and our promises that we made to the community. And, and our promise is on time, on budget, and that's my main objective. Uh, during the summertime. So. You may not be interested, but your lovely wife probably is. My wife is. might be, uh, <laughs> yeah, she understands. I've got a great wife that's very understanding and uh, I just want to get this finished yeah. for, for everybody. So yeah, thank you. That's great. Good to see you, thank Dr. You very Alex much. Apostle. Unrelated, uh, sorry, unrelated. Oh. Donut or donut, how do you spell oh, it? Oh yeah, we're working, it's donut day. Is it D-O? Or nut D or D O U G H. What do you, do you think? D O N U T. Yeah, there Thank it you. is. It's three to one saying that as well. So <laughs> yeah. you're in the majority. Everybody else. I hope I'm right. <laughs> no, you're you're right today here.